Good morning, friends. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica and I engage in conversations about weight loss, weight-related disease education, and how to achieve weight loss in an affordable way that honors the way we live. So I was looking at TikTok and I came across this um, this gentleman who uh, was talking about his alcohol addiction. And specifically, he was actually um, doing two separate distinctions. Uh, what was pleasure versus what was enjoyment. Um, what he was saying is, is that he took a grill de a great deal of pleasure drinking uh, alcohol because of course it the the high that it gave him um, and rather he had to find enjoyment in other uh, things uh, in order for him to sort of um, get over his addiction so I thought about that uh, really I thought it was interesting because he he um, basically took it home by saying we need to find enjoy uh, sorry yes we need to find enjoyment in in our lives um, because um, you know having that rush of pleasure is not um, it at some point it it just doesn't um, doesn't give you the same uh, high or or, or rather um, enjoyment uh, is what brings you happiness and pleasure doesn't really so I was trying to figure out a way to sort of tie that in in terms of, of weight loss because um, we have been talking about mental health um, on Monday we discussed how um, how you know there's just really uh, positives and negatives in, with regards to weight loss and weight loss in general did not create any more happiness or mo more satisfaction with your own body that 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 you would have if you were you know in the size that you are in um, additionally uh, while there was some uh, some feature pleasure and in satisfaction at the end of the day um, uh, you can have really your mental health can be really really taxed if you are losing weight and you are actually go getting through your goal uh, then we talked about chamomile and how that can help in terms of you know those feelings of um nervousness and, and, and excitement and in and, and, and some sort of level of anxiety that that can help uh, now I don't totally recommend if you're having completely like anxiety episodes depression things like that you really honestly need to talk to your doctor because I don't you know I really I I love exploring herbs but I don't necessarily think that they're the the first line of, of therapy here um, um, pharmaceuticals would be something that I would explore if we you know their episodes are so repetitive uh, you know refractory that you can't uh, solve them but um, one of the things I, th I thought about my journey is that you have to, you do have to find enjoyment in and ultimately maybe pleasure in each and everything you do towards your goal. Uh, for example, while I would go work out and I don't necessarily find pleasure each day, I enjoy the sport that I do. Alternatively, I find that uh, you should also try to find um, a, a sport that you like. That's why I've been advocating for you to do so, to find something that you enjoy in order for you to get to win you are not complete you you could have your bad days where you're you know you're struggling and things like that. I do. Uh, but at the end of the day you're enjoying the sport. Um because that really brings you happiness. So, um, so in terms of the food, um, what I have found is that because I had to stick to four days a week, uh, four to five days a week, I stick to a caloric deficit. Uh, why? Because of course I I have goals, right? I I feel 
better and that's the that's the good news that i want to spread the fact that you know uh, that my heart rate is lower my blood pressure is lower and the wellness aspect of weight loss is something that we should all explore now putting that aside i think that there's value in finding um, enjoyment in each and every step including food this is why I stick to what I, my childhood foods and I try to get them you know as as caloric sensible as possible during the week that way I have my the aspects of my day that I enjoy that I, I you know my ice cream yes I'll have it I'll have a portion of it but that will be it that will be enough um, I will have my, you know, aguadito, my, the things that my dad used to make. I will have it, but just a portion. That's why I've been able to lose so much for so long. So this brings me to a thing that I've heard Brené Brown say that lives with me to this day. She said, we try to find, and, and I'm not paraphrasing, unfortunately, it's just from memory. Um, we try to find extraordinary moments and try to get those to give us pleasure. When at the end of the day, when at the end of the day, in our old age, is we enjoy remembering the ordinary um, memories. I think that there is value to that in terms as how we can bring weight loss to our lives, to enjoy, to mem to mem to remember the ordinary, because those are the things that we do remember at the end, not the things that just are quick fixes, engage with extraordinary vacations. You, you, we don't. It, there was another actually. Um, uh, I. Matthew, someone said, we don't live at the Ritz. We can't expend our lives to be, you know, staying at the Ritz. You, you stay at the Ritz on vacation one or two days. You live at home, make your home your enjoyment. Having said that, I think that when I mean um, <laughs> make your home, I also mean your body. <laughs> so I want you to have a wonderful weekend and maybe contemplate on this and eh, I don't know. Have a good one.